Round two. Hello everyone, my name is Channing. Welcome to my YouTube channel. It's really wonderful to see you. I'm very glad that you're here. Yep, here we are, round two, making fancy banana bread. Why would I make regular banana bread? I'm not gonna do that. That's for absolute troglodytes. But however, the thing about this version of the banana bread is that one, I'm going between two recipes along with pulling in exterior knowledge I know about baked goods. So this is gonna be the best dog on banana bread you ever done had. Hello to the camera. Doodles. Picture this, the year is 2075. I'm 70 years old, in my large estate somewhere in Europe, and all of my family from all across the globe has come for a lovely family reunion at my house because naturally I am now the richest sister. 70 year old Channing, everything about her is just obnoxiously bougie, obnoxiously extravagant. So very far from basic and plain and typical 70 year olds, okay? I don't get day over 45. Everything seems to be fresh and exciting and different, but there's one thing that remains constant, and that is my banana bread. Everyone loves my banana bread. It makes them feel warm. It makes them feel soft. It makes them feel as if the world is in utter chaos, because who knows what the world would be like in 60 years. Does that not just sound like the greatest future? Everyone loving your own banana bread because you have single-handedly made the best? It sure does to me. So that's what we're doing here today, making banana bread that I will pass down to generations. I'll give the recipe to my favorite child. Favorite child, I say that as if I'm ever gonna get married. Okay, anyhow, enough dilly-dallying, recipe time. So, to begin, we're gonna start by actually baking the bananas. Baking your bananas beforehand allows a lot of the sweetness and real good banana-y flavor to come out of them. So that's what we're gonna do today. Maybe I am an absolute troglodyte. I forgot to get tin foil. Le banane goes into the oven. Next up, browning the butter. Only about half a cup, which is 113 grams. I say that as if I just worked it out in my head, but no, it says here on one, it says here on one of my recipes. We don't have our scale. Oh, half a cup of butter should stick, right? I believe so. That seems about good. <laughs> Welcome to the stove. And now, the butter will melt, the bananas will brown, everything will brown, and everything will be hunky-dory. Nice. Just keep stirring, stirring forever. Stirring forever and always. <laughs> Things are constantly happening. Oh my gosh, we're nearly there. Just a tad, just a squidging darker, and I believe we are there. Oh, in perfect timing, there's only one minute left on the bananas. Man, that was impeccable timing on my behalf. All right, the bananas are out. They are brown. It appears as though my computer has gone up in smoke. Stand by. Okay, that was stressful. Okay, but we're all good. Everything's fine. We're, we're good. Anyhow, mash the banana. I baked this one with the sticker still on. Okay, huh, we're all good. One of the recipes I was using just told me to cut the bananas, just to slice them. What on God's green earth is that supposed to do? It's splashy. I didn't make the buttermilk. Oh, good heavens, I'm all over the place. Now, this naturally is not buttermilk. However, if I just pop a couple of drops of lemon in here, it will be. Does anyone else just like constantly have an abundance of lemons in their fridge? You don't, ah, heavens. Like you don't know a time where you didn't have at least six lemons in your fridge. Shout out to everyone with the same tiny blue Ikea cutting board. You know, I'm all for organic, natural, whole foods that haven't been highly processed. But you can't sit there and tell me that having to pick out all 7,000 seeds in a lemon is not annoying. Great, now set this off to the side while we prepare our dry ingredients. Nope, we're not preparing our dry, our wet ingredients. In our bowl, we add our brown butter. Ah, look at that. Isn't she lovely? Isn't she wonderful? Isn't she pretty? Less than one minute old. I never thought that love could be meeting someone as lovely as she. But isn't she lovely? Made from love. Now we add a cup of brown sugar. Brown sugar is the superior kind, without a shadow of a doubt. Now we add two eggs. One egg. 
I don't know why, but for some reason on Duolingo, it hasn't taught me numbers yet in Italian. I can only count to one. But no! I can say... God, what can I say? I tuoi insetti e nel mio piatto. I can say that! That probably wasn't right. <laughs> Step vanilla. Remember what we think about vanilla in this house, folks. Measuring it for the week! That's good. Pinch. Cup of flour. One cup. Two cups. Oh, drat. Okay, well, let's hope that's not too detrimental to the texture of the cake. Okay, now I put it in there. Oh no, I lost some of the soldiers. And now we put this bad boy into this bad boy. Farewell, my dear friend. I wish you all the best. There. Put the muffins in the freezer? Absolutely overrated. But you know what's not? Who put the Parmesan cheese with the cleaning supplies? Five, four, three, two, one. He yeah, has it's done. Lovely. It is rather flat across the top, which is a little bit concerning. I hope that won't affect the texture with it. We made the bread. It's very heavy, but I mean, that's to be expected because as my dad so aptly pointed out, it's cake, not bread. I guess I have to go from the center now and then we work outwards. Oh, holy guacam, it's crumbly. That is some doggone good banana bread. The flavor is immaculate. I really outdid myself with this loaf, I gotta say. Thank you so much for watching. If you like the video, like the video, subscribe if you want to. And you go and make your own banana bread. Call it self-care. Your thoughts, Charisse? Arrivederci. I've been doing this for a year and I still never know how to end my videos.